we have here is a decently running constant family. Auntie Wicker, whose knowledge brings comfort to the base and her storytelling is simply enchanting. Uncle Maxwell, the once famous Shadowmancer now puts his shadows to good use. Big Brother Wolfgang, with his mighty strength he protects the whole family from evils of this world. And little Wendy, adorable child who can summon her twin sister to rid the base of unpleasantries. Each of the family members has a role, and with their powers combined, the whole family survives day after day in this cruel magical world. But everything changed upon that fateful day. The day mysterious figure arrived through that gate. A mime? What a peculiar newcomer, everyone thought. And more importantly, what can he do? Turned out, pretty much nothing, besides few balloon tricks which were rather mediocre. The mime called Wes had several shortfalls. He was as weak as Wendy, frail as Maxwell, and as hungry as Wolfgang, while showing no advantage in any aspects. Nevertheless, this mime was now a new member of family, and the others welcomed him thusly. Little did they know that they had doomed themselves. Taking care of this mime who can do very little yet eat like an elephant was no simple task. The family soon experienced shortfall in supply, insanity due to this fragile man's constant death, all had to suffer in order to prevent Wes from dying so often. In mere days, the once healthy family was in shambles, eventually annihilated. Seeing this, the mime simply vanished, as quietly as he appeared. This is a common ending to any naive family who greeted Wes with open arms. Had they known the true nature of this mime, such tragedy would have been prevented easily. The origin of Wes goes as far as year 2013, where the creators of this world included the insanity as a weakness to all characters. Everyone now suffer from darkness and monsters, often eventually killed by terrifying creatures of nightmare. Among such horrible additions that literally haunt us all to this day, Wes was included. Coincidence? Hardly so. Let's see how Wes is actually introduced in the original Constant. One can discover him during the trial of Maxwell. He appears to be trapped in one of the set pieces, and to free him, one must fight waves of clockworks. At the end of such life-threatening and dreadful battle, Wes simply vanishes, without even a sign of gratitude whatsoever. The hint of who Wes is, and why he is imprisoned in such fashion, is given by Maxwell, who quotes, He displeased me. Now Maxwell is one of the wisest people when it comes to knowledge of the constant. He appears to be a villain at first, bringing hardship to your journey with well-designed traps. However, at the end it is revealed that he simply wanted to prevent adventurers from crossing the line too far, inevitably meeting fate worse than death. Therefore, it is clear that the sage Maxwell has reasons behind his actions, and they are far from selfish. It is only obvious that he put Wes in cage for good reason. What Maxwell exactly saw within this seemingly harmless mime remains a mystery, yet whatever it was, it made the once overseer of Constant to do his best in stopping any reckless adventurers from opening the ultimate Pandora box. Unchained from his bindings, this thing takes more devious approach to you by transforming into one of the characters available to venture the Constant. Wes coaxes innocent adventurers by tickling their thirst for challenge, only to reward them with frustration, weakness, despair, and defeat. Thus Wes is the evil of the evil for having found the ultimate way to torment anyone foolish enough to choose him. Even if you yourself were wise enough to see through his ruse, associating with anyone who identify as this trickster can be deadly. Wes will appeal to your sympathy, and take advantage of it. Advertising himself as a weaker member of the survivors, Wes expects those around to do the hard works in his stead and tend to his needs at all time. Taking everything while giving so little, one Wes is enough to crumble down a perfectly functioning society everyone has worked so hard to build. That is why, dear audience, blame Wes for everything. Point your fingers at the evil itself. Has your entire ration disappeared from the fridge? It was Wes. 
Is your home filled with annoying balloons? It was Wes. Have your valuables vanished from the chest? It was Wes. Were those valuables actually in another chest? It was Wes. Beware of the false shepherds, the devil's advocates spreading the words of chaos. We must fight against the evil mime, and if you spot any in your vicinity, do everything you can to get rid of this silent pest. Remember these words. Wes is best when he's dead.